It is super dirty. It has been rolling in this pile of feathers, I'm assuming. Or dead fish. These are like fish. Okay. Uh, hmm. Hello there everybody, it is me Feaser Bunny and welcome back to Midwinter Meadows Farm here in the Simju Valley Legacy Challenge. So we had a little bit of a gap. We had about a week long gap since the last part because I actually started a speed build series and now that that's over, we're finally back to regular programming. So I'm so happy to finally be back here in Simju Valley. And there is a lot of stuff to catch up on. First of all, um, in the last couple of parts, we've finally met all of the bachelors and bachelorettes, which means that we are going to have to start the voting process on who is the best person for Fawn to be partners with now. By the time you guys see this, there will be a survey on my channel, which you guys can vote for your favorite bachelor or bachelorette. And whoever gets the most votes will be Fawn's partner. So please, please, please vote wisely. Uh, I will include the um, bachelor and bachelorette's profession alongside their name so you guys can have a better idea on what direction I want to take them in when we marry them. Uh, let's actually get some breakfast really quick. We're gonna have some pancakes. But yes you guys please vote wisely. We are talking about Fawn's future here so we need to choose the best marriage candidate and for me at the moment it's still alex second place is dr harvey and then i think third place is it's kind of a tie between abigail and actually emily this is a little bit of a curveball but coming out straight from maxis monthly I just found out that there's going to be a new career coming in an update in the future which is going to be kind of like the fashion style influencer type profession which actually makes me so excited and it's kind of like oh we just leveled up our cooking skill but as always saying it's kind of like a curveball here because Emily she wasn't particularly high up on my list but if you guys know Stardew Valley, you would know that Emily is perfect for the style influencer career. So if you guys want to see more of that, I would suggest that you guys vote for her uh, if you guys want that, want to see more of that. But for now, I still think that Alex is our strongest candidate because I think out of all the, candid the bachelors and bachelorettes, he has the most developed character. Also, I think that making him join the law enforcement career um, is going to be super interesting because that's going to enable us to actually visit other houses. So now that all of that's out of the way, we can now start taking care of our garden. It is quite late. It's already like noon, but you know what? A fawn took her time taking care of herself. Our garden is literally dying right now. I don't think I've ever seen it look this bad, so she better hurry up. Oh, and by the way, you guys, it is currently the 11th day of summertime, and we are fast approaching the autumn season, which is so exciting. But I want to show you guys something I did change off camera really quickly. I actually moved the Spirits Eve holiday to a little bit later on in the autumn time. Originally, it was on the 1st of autumn, but I did push it a couple of days further because I want Spirits Eve to look like it's actually autumn time. So I feel like the first couple of days of autumn would still look like it's transitioning from summertime. So that's my logic behind moving it to a different date. 
Also, my plan for today is to kind of make this into a little bit more of a chill part. I do want to take her out a little bit and maybe collect some stuff and also look for some strays. I do have some particular traits in mind for either a stray dog or cat. So I'm going to be particularly, particularly discerning when it comes to that. Um, but you know what makes me really happy right now? It's that it is actually really hot outside. Fawn is currently burning to death. This is one thing that I have absolutely been waiting for. We have had so many rainy days in summertime. It was kind of crazy. Flashback. It is thunderstorming once again. Once again, it is a very wet. It is a very wet summer. End of flashback. And I'm so happy that we're actually getting sunlight today. So we're going to go ahead and actually super sell everything. We might have to stockpile some, you know, fruits and vegetables in the next part. But for now, I think that we might as well make a little bit of money off of the stuff that we've grown. All right, so now that she's pretty much done taking care of all of our crops, we actually have work today. We have some work assignments. We need to submit a paper for grant. So we're gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. I, I think it's this one actually. Hopefully it'll turn out well. We also need to work on our logic skills. So I'm gonna go ahead and have her do that after she writes this paper. All right, so it's actually taking her like 10 million years to finish writing that grant. And I feel like she actually lost her mind a little bit. So you know what? So yeah, instead of forcing her to work on her logic skill, I actually want to take her out a little bit because I feel like she has been incredibly stressed writing that paper. So we're going to go ahead and explore outside a little bit and enjoy the sunshine. All right, so she is just digging up some dig sites over here. And we did just find two time capsules, which isn't particularly exciting. But having her do that actually reminds me that somebody actually in the comments in another video asked me to kind of like do a showcase of all of the collections we've had so far. So we have gone quite far in terms of collecting different species of frogs. Uh, and then I think we've gone quite far in terms of the plants as well, even though there's still a lot to do and to grow. Uh, metals still barely even scratching the surface there. Crystals, um, yeah, we still have a long way to go regarding that as well. And I think fish is something that we need to work on so i would have her go fishing but i would really like to explore the town a little bit more all right so i did decide to take her back here in windenburg island we are back at the beach because if you guys remember in the last part we did find quite a few spawn points in this area so hopefully they're still around and we can find ourselves something interesting to collect all right, so while she's heading to the little rock that I had her collect, here is a little bit of a closer look at the gypsy traveling merchant wagon. Oh my gosh, I feel like I kind of just merged two names over there together of whatever. But here it is. One of you guys did request me to show it off a little bit more. So, oh, and this is what the inside looks like, by the way. This is a fully functional restaurant and there she is. She just collected her first piece of limestone. By the way, can I just point out how incredibly beautiful this world looks like with this heat wave lighting? I've mentioned this a couple times before in another speed build, but I actually really love the look of heat waves in The Sims 4. I know they might not be the most comfortable weather in real life, but they just look so gorgeous in The Sims 4. I just love this lighting. All right, so she's just digging up this little fossil pile over here. I'm assuming it's another limestone because, oh, it's a time capsule. All right, so while she's digging this rock up, it looks like um, she also found another time capsule and we found an obtainium. Okay, that's really awesome. I'm really happy that we're actually collecting some rock pieces because I feel like those are actually the more difficult ones to get our hands on. Um, so yeah, she's gonna collect this one rock over here as well, but look at the beauty of this place. Like, I love the rolling waves. Oh, she found another rock. That's so awesome. 
Alrighty guys, I feel like this place is starting to feel like an archaeologist's dream because we did find quite a bit of, you know, metals and rocks, but you know what? I don't think we've ever been to this place before, but since we're so close to this mysterious little entrance, we're gonna go ahead and travel to the bluffs and see if we can collect something interesting over there. This is pretty mysterious. I wonder where this is gonna lead. Hopefully not to her sudden death. All right, that was pretty anticlimactic. <laughs> we didn't even get like an entrance cinematic or whatever, but look at this cute little butterfly right here. I wish we could collect that, but I guess we can't. All right, so I did have a little bit of a look around and there is literally nothing here. So I'm just gonna have her light this bonfire here. Hopefully she wouldn't burn herself. Oh no, she did. Oh crap. Uh, I knew that was gonna happen, but you know what? Since we're here, since we made our way all the way here, we might as well take a good look at this place. So this is the bluffs. Usually there would be kind of like a natural pool somewhere around this area but I did had to demolish it because we demolished all of the non Stardew Valley related lots in this in this particular world save but wow this place looks very beautiful I love this ruins and I love the view of Windenburg in the background so I think having seen that we're gonna go ahead and actually make our way home because there's literally there, there's literally nothing here Alrighty guys, we are back and by the looks of it, it is actually quite an early day out because Fawn decided to wake up really really early to go to the toilet because she cannot hold her bladder and then she is also about to get attacked by these bees and there they go. I love how they waited all the way for her to finish using the toilet and even finish washing her hands. Um, oh! Oh my gosh! Whoa! A swarm of bees is descending on Fawn, but she has a plan to logically and calmly remain still until they leave. Hopefully this will leave Fawn unstung. Oh my gosh, you guys. For the first time. Oh my gosh, we have finally defended ourselves from a creepy crawly attack. I don't know how you feel about this. I feel I'm actually crying. <laughs> This feels amazing. Alright, so now that she's pretty much done having her breakfast, we can now start taking care of our garden. Um, and there is a lot to do. Thankfully, it is going to be a sunny day today, it looks like. So I'm super excited to spend another beautiful day out with Fawn as well. Look at this beautiful god rays. How beautiful. Alright, so I am going to have her water all of our plants that need to be watered. We're going to be working home for today and we need to research gardening. And I'm also going to have her plant a couple new rows of sage bushes. So now that we pretty much mastered the gardening skill, there's literally no reason for her to have to keep watering all of our plants individually because it literally took her forever in a day to finish watering all of these rows of plants. So I'm legitimately considering <laughs> legitimately considering um, buying a sprinkler and seeing how that works. Um, but for now, we are just planting our new two rows of sage bush because what I actually want to do is graft onto this one. So why is she heartbroken? What? She's heartbroken for some strange reason. That's weird. Last I checked, she wasn't in a romantic relationship with anyone. All right, so really, really quickly, we're going to go ahead and super sell all of our produce right here. Uh, let's see here. We're going to make sure that she sells everything um, because we need the money look at how much money we have you guys and now that we've pretty much taken care of everything we need to do today we're gonna go ahead and actually start grafting some of our birds of paradise 
to these sage bushes that we have right here. All right, so that was pretty much the last of our birds of paradise to graft. And as you guys can see, the plant has now transformed from a sage bush into a hybrid plant of a sage and a bird of paradise. So now that we've pretty much taken care of everything we need to do for today, we're gonna go ahead and actually have her really quickly research gardening so that we can take care of our work requirements for today and then I'm gonna send her out and about. Alright, so she just finished researching her gardening, so I'm gonna go ahead and send her out in town and hopefully we might come across some strays that we would like to adopt. Alright, so I did decide to send her here in Pepperstone Park. I don't think I've ever been here before, but this used to be the location of the cat slash dog park, which we had to demolish because, as always, everything, every lot that isn't related to Sardew Valley, we had to get rid of, but I had the sinking suspicion that we might come across some strays over here so while we're waiting for them to spawn i'm gonna go ahead and actually have her grab something to eat over here i gotta say this place looks so awesome in the summer heat i wonder if she can like splash around this little fountain no she can't <laughs> there's literally no interactions right here though i feel like i have seen some like cats climbing onto this i'm not sure right so i think we're just gonna go ahead and order ourselves a spiced sparkling apple juice drink literally there was no other options other than coffee which i don't think she really needs right now oh we might actually see see some spawning sites over here so ooh, there's a couple of dirt piles which we might have to dig actually and find something interesting Alrighty guys, after hours and hours of searching, I think we just found our first stray and look at this little cutie right here. It is me, your whiskers! <gasps> we're gonna go ahead and wake him up and hopefully he won't hate us because we're probably interrupting his beauty sleep. So we're gonna go ahead and try to do a friendly introduction with Mayor Whiskers if he'll allow ourselves to introduce to him. Alrighty guys. So we're kind of just chasing after Mayor Whiskers. I'm assuming he doesn't really want to interact that much with, you know, us filthy humans. So we're going to go ahead and try to chase him and maybe we can even introduce ourselves to him. All right. Finally, after a really long chase, we finally met the mayor of Kitty Cat Town. That is my unofficial title for Mayor Whisker right here. But yes, this is our first cat that we met. I wonder if he's a stray actually. Oh, he is a stray. What? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and offer our friendship, of course, and we're gonna go and pet him oh and praise him and get to know i am looking for a particular trait among pets that i don't think i can remember specifically what the name of it is but it's the one trait where the pet kind of and i think it's the independent one uh i i want the pet to have the little trait where it always leaves the house because in my personal gameplay when i had a cat it had a trait where it always left the house and every time it came back home it actually brought with it some really fun little gift items so i want that trait to be present in whichever pet we're gonna be adopting in the future so um for one thing we do know that mayor whiskers is talkative talkative um this one uh, he's friendly and let's see here let's get to know him one more time okay and the last trait that we found out about mayor lewis is that he is aloof um i'm not quite sure if that's the ideal set of traits i would like to have for a pet so as much as i would like to keep mayor lewis with us i don't think that um keeping him with us would necessarily do any of us good so we're gonna go ahead and keep looking I mean, I guess we don't have to look that far because there is a little cat right here. It is super dirty. It has been rolling in this pile of feathers, I'm assuming. Or dead fish. These are like fish. Okay. Uh, hmm. Doodle. Oh. oh my gosh. 
the name alone just gives me so much feels. But I think the fact that this cat is really smelly kind of turns me off a little bit. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna pet Doodle, and we are gonna just, just try to get to know her. Uh, yeah, it's female, so it's a her. So yeah, um, we're gonna try to get to know her- Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, apparently being stinky is contagious because Fawn is freaking disgusting right now. Nobody cares, just get to know her, Fawn. Like, just- yeah, it's a cat. I'm sure she wouldn't mind you smelling and looking like a homeless person. She's talkative. All of these traits are talkative for some strange reason. Prowler though, looks interesting. And affectionate. I mean, those are really nice traits. I don't think we have the one that I'm particularly looking for, but I feel really bad for Doodle, so I'm gonna give her a treat so that she doesn't go hungry for today. Uh, thanks for talking to us, Doodle. You were super, super cute. Alright folks, so Fawn was literally dying there, so I had to make her go and do a little bit of a pit stop at the bathroom. And what do you know, we found ourselves one limestone and another time capsule. I actually don't think we've opened the other ones that we've found before. A couple of you guys did tell me that it was more economical to sell these time capsules without opening them because some of these um, my sim trophies are actually worth less than the time capsules themselves but I might as well open them because they do register on our family household collection so for that sake I do like to open the time capsules. Alright folks, I think we just found our first stray dog here. I think her name is Lily. Really quickly, we're gonna go ahead and introduce ourselves to Lily right here. That's a beautiful name. We actually- ooh, okay. Lily apparently is showing signs of being a dog with supernatural powers. which makes me like her even more, but no, that was probably just a glitch. And Fawn, I think, is actually dying, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually feed her something here. She's gonna have, uh, gonna have a cherry. Abigail, there's a rumor going around that a crazy party is happening at the chalet right now. No, Abigail, no, we're busy getting to know Lily right here, so we're gonna go ahead and get to know her. We're gonna go and offer our friendship, get to know her another time. We're gonna talk with Lily. Uh, she, Lily's probably like, this girl literally smells just as bad as I do, maybe even worse. <laughs> At least I don't have like green stench coming off of me. Alright, so the first trait that we found out about Lily is that she is playful, second trait is that she is vocal, and finally we're gonna get to know her one last time, and as always we're gonna give them some treats because we don't want them to stay hungry, so... Oh, she's a troublemaker, Lily, Oh, why did you have to have those traits? Okay, so here is a nice little treat for talking to us, and we're gonna dig this actually, because why not? Uh, it's gonna be another time capsule. Ooh, at least it was an upgrade part, so we're gonna be able to get some good use out of those, but Fawn is literally dying right now, and it is getting really late, so I'm gonna go ahead and send her home. Alrighty guys, we are finally back home and Fawn is literally dying. She really quickly needs to take care of all of her needs. <laughs> My voice just cracked. <laughs> all of her needs. Oh my gosh, but you know what you guys, I think we have seen quite enough in this part. I'm really glad that we were able to start looking for some actual strays that we might adopt in the future so don't forget you guys to chime in on who you guys want Fawn to become partners with in the future by voting over at the little survey on my channel community tab page whatever but that being said i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part up right here thank you guys so so much for watching you all have an awesome 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 day and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.